<laughs> Welcome. So if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, I actually like just shot it. And you might have saw a sneak peek of an Instagram notification that went away because I unlocked my phone. But I got the phone to work. Basically, I told the seller, hey, can you please unlock it? Because it was locked with AT&T. Don't ask me why. So they did it, but they entered the wrong IMEI number. Therefore, it would not work whatsoever. So I went, I entered the correct IMEI number. I mean, I mean, IMEI number and I thought since they said it was gonna take two business days and like it's Friday so I'm like eh. but happened in seconds seconds I tell you and here it is here is the iPhone 6 generation device and so the video you saw today was on Windows 10 but I think the video after that I'll do, if you guys want, a better late than never review on the iPhone 6. So, some people have asked me, hey Oliver, I thought you were a an Apple hater. Why would you get an iPhone 6 that looks like a 6 Plus on camera? Okay, I'll tell you, peoples, while walking around my studio, oddly. So, I realized that the two, um, the, the two things that always, the, the reason I was with Android was because, <coughs> A, it was less expensive, obviously, not for everything, but for the phones I was getting, B, it had more features. Okay, so that said, wait, wait one sec that I wasn't able to use Android to its full potential. Don't ask me why, I just wasn't able to. And that was a bummer for me. I mean, I tried as hard as I could, but I just couldn't get into it. Then I found an iPhone for less expensive, um, or inexpensive, and then I can sell my new phone so I barely pay anything for it. And also, just right now, there are more worldwide developers that will develop for iOS and not Android. So that's the unfortunate truth. Even though there are more apps on the Android store, the iOS apps just have more, uh, like, title, like, you know, like, you know what I mean. Like, a lot of apps are just like, you know, you're looking for, like, a company or something, and their app is like, iOS only. Android, don't worry, you're coming soon, like... Six months is when we'll tell you that we are, are hiring an Android developer. Okay, I don't know where that was going. No, no, no. One sec. I'll be right back. Do 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 do. I'm over. And then there's this little puppy. It's not gonna focus because of the lighting, but whatever. This is a fingerprint scanner that's so important to me because i don't know why it's important but i really i have so many like confidential things on my phone like if someone was able to get into my phone they'd be able to hack my twitter no just kidding they'd get all my bank account information all this creepy stuff that i wouldn't want them having so having my fingerprint as the password if you haven't heard of this oh well you've been living under a rock but it's quick, like that showed a long demonstration, but look how quick I can go. Boom. Okay, my camera's at 4%. Um, this was a significant vlog. Make sure, I have a new feature where in every vlog, I've been doing this for a few days now, you can go to the description and click to tweet, and it'll tweet a link and like a special little phrase I type in. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, at Oliver underscore Leopold, you'll always get a link you always get that link the click to tweet link uh, before the video comes out usually around 10 minutes so you basically like pre-tweet and I favorite every single pre-tweet I mean now I do because I just said it and I can't take it back so this is the iPhone 6 it wants to tell you something it wants to say say peace bye that may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Close enough. Peace. Bye. I said bye. No, stop. Don't zoom. 
Wait. Oh, I could do I could do peace. Bye. Now where's the little button? Okay.